Hello and welcome to more gaming fans. I'm your host Joseph Moore here and we are bringing you the second to last week of SQL and um, we got a fun rain team to deal with. Obviously he only has one rain setter but I mean 4v4 so pretty much all you need. Um, Let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and lead uh, Petrie. And... Nobunaga, why not? And then we have Celestilo, who's not nicknamed correctly. And we got Punk Rock. So you know what, actually. The other mines I didn't uh, make for this week. I only made four mines. Going in pretty arrogant. I just looked at the dock too, and this guy's actually nine and one. So... <laughs> We could be under prepped and in a lot of trouble. But that's what we're doing this week. I mean, we're not going to make playoffs either way. I looked at the thing and uh, we started off at like 0 and 4 before we even got to play. So the few wins that we actually did get ain't going to help us in our case. So uh, he's going to go ahead and lead Reuniclus and that horse, whatever its name is. And uh, Petrie is going to unnerve them. All right, so Squishy and Boo are out here. Um, I'm going to go for the Rock Slide here, hoping to flinch Squishy. And I'm Choice Scarf, and I'm going to knock off Boo into the next dimension. Oh, and Boo is Sash. So now is Petrie faster. Oh, Boo actually goes for the Taunt. I think we're going to Tailwind here. We go ahead and get the rock slide out, and of course, he evades the attack. And Squishy gets the trick room off, so that is a problem for us. So we're going to go ahead. Petrie's going to stay in here. We're Sash. I'm just going to go ahead and go for the rock slide here. And we're actually going to bring back... Uh, Punk Rock for... Actually, what can he even hit me with? I'm just going to go for the knockoff. Into Squishy. Yep. Looks like Boo is a support set. Squishy's going to go ahead and hit Petrie with Psychic. We're living. And uh, thankfully, Petrie's slower than Boo. Boo goes down here. And Obstagoon's going to go ahead and take out that Reuniclus. But now we got a uh, Trick Room up for his side that we got to deal with. Alright, so he sent out Minecraft. Interesting. And Marowak. So two pretty slow mons on his side. Oh, so the Intimidate gets our Defiant up, but it's not worth staying in here. Um, Petrie is going to go ahead and go for a... Uh, we're just going to go for the Rock Slide here. It's not very effective, but it's going to get some chip. And we're going to actually go to Celesteela here. You can actually take a few hits from these things. All right, so Marowak goes throat chop, and Petrie goes down. Minecraft goes close combat into Celesteela, and we take that very well. And its defenses are down. And of course, we get some leftovers to heal us back up. All right, so now we can go ahead and go Nobunaga. I feel like uh, Punk Rock will be good mon to have in the back here. Let's see how many more turns of Trick Room he has. Two more turns. Okay. 
so we have life orb here so we should be fine uh we might have to take a couple rock slides i'm gonna go ahead and extreme speed here to get some damage off on minecraft and i'm gonna go seed bomb on bond the marowak oh and he's dynamaxing here i totally forgot about dynamaxing all right so what does he decide to dynamax he dynamax the marowak Good choice. Alright, Nobunaga gets off that extreme speed and almost takes down Minecraft from full thanks to that defense drop. Minecraft goes sucker punch, but that's not going to help him here. And Max Darkness into Nobunaga is going to do good damage, but not enough to take it out. So our seed bomb does come off and it does a pretty good chunk. And Celesteel is just going to sit there sitting pretty. And we should have the match here unless he has protect on Minecraft. And we're going to go ahead and leech seed bond here. Alright, assuming he didn't have protect there, him on top goes down. Nobunaga still doesn't go down to Life Orb just yet, but Max Flair comes off into Celesteela. And we ain't living that. So, we go down to that. Dimensions return back to normal. So now Punk Rock is out here. We are Scarf, but we're still going to Dynamax with it. We're going to go ahead and... Go ahead and... Does he still have another turn or Trick Room? Okay, he doesn't. <sighs> Let's see. What's our hardest hitting move here? 80, 70, 70. We'll just go ahead and go for the extreme speed hit. And we're going to go ahead here and go for max darkness. Good stab move. I wish we'd go for the knockoff here, but eh, it's risky. I don't want to get knocked out on the next hit. Did you know Marowak's hitting that punk rock this turn? Either that or he's going to try to obviously the only two options he has but um if he has a fighting move i think he hits punk rock here get some good chip with extreme speed nobunaga goes down max darkness comes off because we're faster doesn't do that much though so now what does he have here he goes max quake Luckily, we are physically offensive, not specially. And yeah, you can see that did a big chunk right there. But of course, that's his last turn. And we're going to go max overgrowth here. Super effective. It'll do more damage. And that should ensure our victory here in round one. And hopefully round two will go just as smooth. So that's one thing I didn't expect. I didn't expect the uh I didn't expect the trick room lead. But um it almost worked for him, so I think he's gonna lead it again. You like his lead card? Not yet. Maybe if we win one. Let's play with the same rules. And uh, honestly, I think I'm going to do the same lead. The battle begin. Alright, what does King have? Does he have Sucker Punch? He has Sucker Punch. 
I could sucker punch into uh, the nay. Is that the play? I mean, we don't have the coverage for the other Pokemon if it brings water and King comes in. You know what? I'm just going to keep it Petrie. And then Nobunaga and Celesteela in the back. It's the four months we uh, got ready for this battle, so that's what we're going to stick with. So now I know this time, knock off the Reuniclus. If he leaves. We'll see. All right, looks like he's switching up styles here. He's definitely not going to try to go for that same lead, it seems. Or maybe he is, and he's trying to throw us off. Either way, we are locked into the same leads. And here we go. All right, he goes Boo and Deadeye. Interesting lead. All right, so we're going to knock off the uh, water type here. And I mean, knock off is a good move to have overall. And we're going to go ahead and get a rock slide off. Get your ass beat, boy. Oh, and Deadeye actually goes for the Protect here. So Knock Off isn't going to do what we wanted it to do. And Boo goes for Taunt again. Luckily, we didn't go Tailwind there. And we get our Rock Slide off. Hopefully, we hit this time. Alright, so Boo actually takes the damage this time. Now we're going to Knock Off Boo here. And we're going to switch out to uh, Celesteela. Oh, he withdrew Boo. He goes into Politoed here. So Politoed's going to take a big knockoff here. Oh, and he's straight up Dynamaxing on that side. So now with the rain, he'll be pretty much faster than everything, but if Nobunaga can get in here, uh, he won't be, because uh, Cloud9. So Deadeye goes Max Knuckle into the Optagoon and takes that down, no problem. That's a yikes right there. Okay, okay see that I see that play that was a smart play all right so now we're gonna go Nobunaga here and airlock makes weather effects disappear now we're gonna go ahead and go for the rock slide get some flinches hopefully and we're gonna max overgrowth dead eye over there He just outplayed me on this one. That protect on the first turn was beautiful. Alright, he goes Max Hellstorm here. Definitely going to take out Nobunaga. Let's see if we can't start pulling this back, though. And Politoed goes Parish Song. So by the end of our Dynamax, we'll be gone anyway. 
And Dead Eye hangs on. Alright, so now outside of rain, I wonder if Dead Eye is faster than uh, Aerodactyl here. It was certainly faster than Rayquaza. So we're going to go ahead and rock slide here. And of course, max overgrowth into Dead Eye just in case it doesn't take that thing out. Polytoad withdraws, but that's not a problem. Boot comes back in. Max Health Storm most likely into the Aerodactyl. Because uh, we go down in three turns either way. And Hell is definitely going to take us out here. And of course, the main threat misses, gets, avoids the attack. Alright, but we learned something there. Aerodactyl finally goes down the hill. We got one more turn of uh, Dynamax here to live. Anyway, we're about to go down thanks to the Parish Song. Very good strategy on his part. Alright, so Politoed makes it rain again. And we'll just go um, max grass into the polytoad again. And um, he's showing that that horse is purely uh, support. Dang, and Politoed goes down, which is surprising due to its bulk. Didn't think it would go down that easy. Oh, I guess we were plus one attack. Well, either way, we don't have a spread move to take two Pokemon out here. So we may be able to take one more Mon out, but due to that uh, Parish Song, uh, ain't going to last long. All right, we'll go. I'm not gonna show Megahorn just yet. We'll go seed bomb into uh, Boo. And he's gonna see we're incredibly tanky here. So, just goes to show. If it wasn't for Parasong, we could have won that game too. <laughs> but it is what it is. And uh, we'll see him in game three. Because I would have mega horned right there. I wouldn't have took the time to take out the horse. The horse isn't a threat. But it is, like I said, what it is. And now it's time for game three. And we at least pulled it back from what it could have been. Yeah, I might as well take the card now. <laughs> My rage after this third one. Um... Let's go ahead and bring everyone back the way we're supposed to. Good thing I didn't bring that Sucker Punch uh, plan either. Because that wasn't going to help us at all. It's like he only ran Taunt on that thing. But like I said, same lead. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. And it's not broke, we just uh, predicted wrong.
What do you got, Misty? What, 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 uh, what moves can you surprise us with here? Power gym, psychic, I, nothing that's gonna help us. So we'll leave you home and just bring the mons we were gonna bring anyway. So, all the way down to a game three. Good luck, have fun. This has been some fun battles for sure. But hopefully, we can pull out a win against the nine and one team here. Eggy time. Or egg time. I'm not sure which one he went with. All right. Final battle. Winner takes all. Let's be the winner. Come on. All right, Dead Eye and Boo. You think he Dynamax here right out of the gate? You know what? I hope he does. All right, knockoff time. And I'm going to rock slide. You know what? Screw that. I'm going to iron head. Double in the boo here. So he goes the same thing. We go knockoff in the boo. Not probably. There it is. And boo's going down here. So you may get your rain, but you're going to pay a price. Alright, so we're going to go to um, Celestila on that side. And we'll go Nobunaga on the other side. Double switch. You know he's going to go Max Knuckle right into it. He has to. Your other effects go away. He obviously Dynamax is here. And Celestila is going to take a hit here. Oh, yeah, he actually doubled into that side, so maybe he predicted a switch. Either way, we're going to go ahead and go for the max overgrowth on Deadeye. And the extreme speed here. So either he has to make a choice, take out Celestila or take out Nobunaga. Alright, so Extreme Speed does a good chunk to Deadeye there. He goes Max Hellstorm, so he's taking out Nobunaga here. And we should be able to take Deadeye out here. All right, good. No burn. Couldn't afford that. So Deadeye finally goes down. 
Polytoad's on the other side. His horse is gone. So, um, let's see what he has in the back. Looks like we actually outplayed him this time around. Hopefully. I ain't gonna say for sure just yet. Game's not over. But if Polytoad wants to perish song now, he's stuck with us. Alright, we can go ahead and go to Punk Rock here. I'm pretty safe to hit whatever comes in. Of course, it's squishy. And um, shouldn't be Sash, because the horse was. So we're going to max move into Politoed here, and we're going to knock off into Squishy. And hopefully that's game. Oh no, Squishy hangs on! But its Citrus Berry is gone. Squishy hits Celestela, max overgrowth comes off. Politoed should go down here as last time. And it does. I had to get nervous because, I mean, Reuniclus lived. We get another beast boost here of attack boost. Squishy goes for thunder and misses. So that ensures our win here. And everyone's going to heal a little bit with all this uh, grassy terrain going around. Rillaboom would be proud. But Squishy is going down here, and um, we actually get a win off on this thing. So we defeat the 9 and 1 Egg Time. Bye bye! GG Eddie. Thank you for playing, and um, thank you guys for watching.